Good evening, Mike. Many people will remember Farid Ahmed from our initial coverage. We first met him in the minutes after that terrible massacre, and at that time he had not heard of the fate of his wife, and he has since received some terrible news. This is the story of Husma Ahmed. To uh, have a memory of three of us. Gathering to remember a woman loved by all who met and knew her, Husna Ahmed ran classes for children at the mosque while her husband gave sermons. She was probably more open than me. She could reach anyone. She was magnetic. On Friday, their peaceful life came shattering down as a shooter tore through the mosque without served for 20 years. What she did when the shooting started, she organized the ladies and children to go out. She was leading them. The couple in separate rooms. I thought I was not going to come out and I was prepared. I was prepared to die and that's why I just, in a moment, I just thought, no point of panicking. I better be calm and ready. Farid Ahmed, who uses a wheelchair, couldn't flee. She was coming back for me. And that is the time. Just, you know, when she was coming to, towards the gate, that is the time she was shot. On Friday outside on the cordon and the hours following the terrorist attack, Farid spoke to Newtub, hoping his wife was OK. I don't know where my wife is. She was in the ladies' room. The news, the worst he could imagine. She lost her life trying to save him. Tonight, people are paying their respects. Those who knew her loved her, remembering a woman renowned for kindness of her own. Our daughter lived here with them for a year, and she was always sharing. And despite the terrible act of hatred, Farid Ahmed has found a way to forgive the shooter. I love him, to be honest. I think probably he went through some trauma in his life. Probably he was not loved. I don't hate him at all. I don't hate him at all. Not at all. Forgiveness, Farid says, is what his wife Husma would have wanted. She's brave and she gave her life saving others. Husma Ahmed, kind to the very end. Last words that he wanted all of us to think about uh, that if someone does bad to you, make sure you do good to them. ألا تحبون أن يغفر الله لكم والله غفور رحيم